Hello everyone, I am Atulesh Shah and I have got rank All India 131 in UPSC CSC 2021. I would like to discuss with you how in my five successive attempts I was able to improve and build upon my preparation and I finally got this success. So uh, a lot of us right from the start realize that uh, bureaucracy is something that has charmed us. We wish to be a part of it and we want to be uh, aspiring to join it. So that is something that has always fascinated me right from my youth in my school days. And I also began preparing for it in my college. So in the last year of my college, I thought that, okay, I would like to give an attempt. So as soon as I was out of my college in 2016, I gave my first prelims. I was testing the waters for the UPSC. However, it so happened that UPSC tested me and I flunked the prelims. I realized one very important part that you cannot take this exam lightly or any of its aspect as unprepared. There are three steps. Prelims means an interview. And we have to be diligently prepared for all three of them. In my second attempt of 2017, I could clear the prelims because I had dedicated time and effort into it. However, I could not qualify the means because I was lacking content and answer writing. We need to realize that these two are the pillars of success in means. So we have to have good content and we have to have good answer writing. In 2019, I again qualified the prelims and I had better prepared for the means. I had more content, practiced answer writing as well. However, unfortunately, it so happened that my marks did improve in means, but they were not good enough for an interview call. Therefore, I failed my prelims again. In the 2019 means, I realized that structuring of answers was very important and it was something that was missing. I discussed it with my peer group. I discussed it with my mentors and I realized that I need to work on that. In 2019, as prelims drew near, I was confident of clearing the prelims as I had done it in the past two attempts with flying colors. But here, UPSC again proved unpredictable and I could not qualify prelims by a very small margin. This was earth shattering at that moment. That was my fourth failed attempt and I was very devastated when the prelims result came out. However, I gathered myself up and restarted preparing for my fifth attempt. This goes on to prove that we cannot be overconfident about ourselves at any stage of the examination. All three stages of the exam need dedicated, diligent preparation every year or every attempt that we are about to give. Then finally, in the fifth attempt of 2021, I was able to clear my prelims I wrote my mains, I also got my interview call and then finally I achieved All India rank 131. However, it was a long journey, it was an arduous journey and there are few important pointers that I would like to share with you to help you understand what mistakes you can avoid going ahead in this preparation. The first and foremost learning that I have from my journey is we have to treat each stage with equal respect. Give ample amount of preparation and time. We cannot procrastinate at any stage. Don't bluff yourselves. Least of all, try to bluff the UPSC examiner. If you are feeling stuck at any stage, take help from coachings, from your mentors. Discuss and deliberate your answers with your peer groups. They help you a lot, especially if they are also into UPSC preparation. The syllabus is very important. We need to memorize it very clearly. We need to know each aspect of it and prepare accordingly. Answer writing is also a very important aspect. Fortunately, my peer groups and my mentors always helped me work on it. And therefore, I never gave up hope. I kept myself motivated because I was backed by them. And I also felt that I am making improvements 
over the years at the end we need to realize very sincerely that not everyone is going to qualify this exam there are very slim chances of either of us qualifying even if we give our heart and soul for this preparation therefore there is no need to take failures as the end all be all but rather of uh, as a stepping stones to success the failure doesn't define your intellect it does not quantify your wisdom it only is an indication of your preparation for this specific examination whether your heart was not into it whether you missed something is something that we need to analyze and assess and work upon there is no shame or stigma in having a plan b during your preparation as well it can be regarding other government jobs or state services or even private sector jobs which you have an efficiency in because there is no certainty in this exam the only certainty is that it will help us to understand and realize the status of our country and the various institutions it helps us make a better individual but it does not define whether or not we are going to qualify this exam also having a plan b keeps our mind at ease when we are preparing for this examination and we are able to better focus our resources during our preparation each of us who has been through this journey whether short or whether long has realized something very important we have learned some things that are very important and we need to keep reminding ourselves that whatever we have learned we will apply that in our life whenever we come across be it the constitutional ethos or values of our society that we have imbibed during this preparation journey that is the foremost lesson upsc examination teaches us thank you don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update